Lo que van a ver en el próximo video es algo hecho por los luteranos del Mystery Synod de, que se llaman eh, Lutheran Satire o Satírica Luterana. En este video vamos a estar respondiendo de una forma gráfica lo que Enuel Hernández hizo unos días atrás con respecto a quienes son reformados donde él dijo que dio una charla magisterial, cosa que quizás para los que no saben el tema pudo haber sido magisterial para ellos, pero para los que hemos estudiado la reforma no lo fue. Así que vamos a, a ver cómo es que este problema de quiénes son los verdaderos reformadores y quiénes son los que en realidad están, eh, han, han reformado la iglesia y lo que creían y qué es lo que los une o los separa, lo vamos a ver de una forma bien chistosa. Lo, eh, yo le puse los, eh, arreglé los subtítulos en, en YouTube, arreglé el inglés y así está saliendo en el español. Espero que sea muy comprensible, pero esto lo estoy haciendo para responderle a Enuel Hernández, eh, que creo que no dio una buena definición acerca de esto. Más adelante voy a estar dando eh, unas, un, unos, cha unas charlas que hice hace años con respecto a esto mismo, el mismo tema del, de quién es en realidad reformado, eh, siguiendo lo que eh, las, los eruditos dicen, los expertos del tema están diciendo el día de hoy. Pero por ahora, quédense con este video que que es chistoso, eh, hay muchos otros videos también de Lutheran Satire, yo los recomiendo, enseñan doctrina, claro, de una forma luterana, pero no quiere decir que no estén eh, correctos en casi todo lo que dice. Dios le bendiga. It is October 31st, and I have got some things to say. And there we go. Yeah, okay. Now for my morning schnitzel. Hello, Lucia. What are you doing? Oh, hey, Twingly. I'm just starting that thing where I try to reform the Catholic Church since it has turned away from numerous biblical teachings. Oh, so like you're starting the Reformation? Yeah, a Reformation, exactly. Cool. Can I join? Do you reject the Vax righteousness of the Pope and confess the chief doctrine of the Christian Face? That man is justified by grace alone, through faith alone? Yeah, totally. Okay, cool. I also reject that the Lord Shapa is actually the body and the blood of Jesus because the papists believe that. Okay, Zwingli. But the Bible very clearly teaches that Christ is physically present in the sacrament. And the point of a reformation is to be faithful to God's word, not to just be as uncatholic as possible. But that's the point of my reformation. Your reformation? Bonjour, mes amis. What is, uh, how you say? Up. Oh, hello, John Calvin. Lucy here wants to join my reformation, but he still wants to be a little halfway papist. Sissy baby. Nein, this is not true. I just don't want to abandon the sacraments because of your scripture twisting Pope rage. Abandon the sacraments? Sacre bleu, who would do such a thing? Twingly. He says that this is my body means this represents my body. Oh, Zwingli, what a fool you are. So you agree with me? Does the bread and wine are the body and blood of Christ? Of course not. The finite is not capable of the infinite. So you agree with Swingley then? No, no, no. He says that is does not mean is. What Luna see? I say that is means is as long as the definition of is is not is. Is a completely different position. You're going to need to understand these distinctions, Lucy, my friend, if you want to be a part of my Reformation. This is my reformation. Reformation, you say? I'd love to get on board. You would? Even after you've called me a heretic for posting my thesis here? Has your allegiance to the Pope changed because you've seen the heirs of his theology? Not really. It's mostly changed because he won't annul my marriage to that half-barren, pig-faced Spanish bride of mine. That's not a good reason for leaving the Church of Rome. No, Dr. Luther, your short-sighted attitude is precisely the reason why the Church of England has chosen Mr. Calvin here to be the chief theological advisor for our ecclesiastical Brexit. God is sovereign indeed. Soon all the world will confess that Jesus did not die for all the world. Well, not all of us are going 
going to believe that particular doctrine, Mr. Calvin. Shut up, you filthy renegade. No, you shut up. This is my reformation now. Stop trying to steal my reformation. Now, don't get upset, Dr. Luther. I think I speak for all of us when I say that we're all deeply in your debt. After all, today is the day when you set us free from the shackles of Rome so we could follow your example. By quitting our church bodies and starting a new one the second we don't like the cut of someone's theological jib. That's not what I did. I got so kicked out. Ah, same difference. What do you say, Jen? Shall we honor Dr. Luther with a rousing rendition of the Protestant song? Oui, oui. Absolutely. <laughs> We're on the same team as Luther. No, you're not. We are the Protestants. All our traditions are equally valid. This is not true. Who cares what we teach about the sacraments or about the atonement? Who cares about the The most important thing is the common song we sing. We all hate the Pope. If you believe in the real presence, we'll call you cannibals, but then get mad when you won't communicate. Thank you for singing that song, Mr. Schlusser. I sing nothing!